People fail to understand how many of these people are working, but how hard it is. So you guys recently posted about a guest of Matthew's Hope that works full-time at Walmart, um, was just promoted, but he still lives in a camp in the woods. He got a, what most would consider a significant raise recently. They just can't simply put the funding together. He recently shared a video of the actual camp where this individual lives. It was filmed on a nice sunny day. Those tents are not really meant to withstand all of that rain, all of the wind and stuff that we're going through. He rides his bike every day, four miles, whether it's raining, whether it's 95 degrees outside. And then he has to go home and figure out, is his bed wet? Is he able to go home and rest to start the next day? You know, is, is he gonna have clean clothes for tomorrow? The cards are stacked against him. There needs to be a better way for these people to have an opportunity to get off the streets. Mm -hmm. One way that we offer is through our transitional housing. However, we've only got 15 of those right now. We could easily do 100, but we don't have the funding for that. But I can tell you that if we had the funding, I can assure you we would get a lot more of these people off the streets faster than anything that's currently being done.